Today, in Brazil, with a population of 212 million people, there's around 12 million without a job and about 116 million suffering from food insecurity. In the last 20 years, Brazil has been a global leader in fighting food insecurity and malnutrition. In 2003, they established a zero hunger initiative, developing policies and programs to improve access to food, water, education, health services, and more. The efforts of the government even resulted in a drop of undernourished people of 80% and the removal of Brazil on the World Food Program's hunger map in 2014. However, since the beginning of the pandemic, food security has become a major challenge once again. Today, one out of 10 Brazilians suffers from serious hunger. The challenges related to food are significant and are a source of many other issues such as health, social inequalities, lack of opportunities. What if we change current food systems to make it more inclusive, more efficient, and less harmful to the environment? Meet Gacho Motiva, an organization striving to fight hunger, democratize sustainable culinary training, and support aspiring entrepreneurs in underprivileged areas all over Brazil. Co-founded in 2006 by renowned chef and social entrepreneur David Hertz, the organization offers professional cooking training to young people from low-income communities for free. A lot of it is happening here at the Refetorio Gastromotiva in Rio de Janeiro. Every week, students and volunteers prepare thousands of zero-waste, healthy meals which are then distributed in some of the most underprivileged neighborhoods of the city. The same is happening in the other parts of the country. In addition to providing food to people in need, students learn from experienced chefs who help them develop the skills and knowledge they need to find a job or build their own business. Indeed, Gasho Motiva puts a great emphasis on triggering an entrepreneurial mindset within its student cohorts in order for them to pursue their dreams and give back to their communities. Gastro Motiva is also dedicated to fight food waste and puts a lot of effort to promote sustainable gastronomy and responsible consumption. Students are taught how to prepare healthy meals, use food in its entirety, and reduce the use of plastic. When the pandemic hits, triggered by the urgency to provide food to people in need, Gasho Motiva launched the Solidarity Kitchen program. Through the implementation of community kitchens, micro-entrepreneurs, professional cooks, community leaders, and social organizations prepare thousands of healthy lunchboxes for underprivileged people and sometimes using their own homes. Gastro Motiva provides logistical support, training, and even a monthly income for those who run the Solidarity Kitchens. Gastro Motiva has already trained over 6,500 students for free with 80% who are now employed or running their own business. Since the beginning of COVID, about 2 million meals have been distributed in 70 communities. All this thanks to the implementation of over 120 solidarity kitchens across six different cities. On top of that, it's estimated that about 300 tons of food waste has been avoided. Now, we're asking you, how would you use food to create a positive social or environmental impact? That's a wrap for today. Stay tuned for the next episodes.